Welcome to my mathematics class. Uh, today we want to look at um, a form 3 topic, uh, matrices. <coughs> this is a topic we had already started on and we saw how we could multiply a matrix by a scalar. In our lesson today, we want to see how you can get the product of two given uh, uh, matrices. For this lesson, I have chosen uh, two square matrices of order two by two. In other words, the matrices I have taken have two rows and two columns. So a matrix with the um, two rows and two columns, see the rows and the columns, is called a two by two matrix. We can have three by three, we can have, um, we can even have rectangular ones where the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. But in this case, for a start, we want to look at uh, matrices which are two by two square. And we want to see how we multiply that. I have um, started with a general way of doing it. Um, so in this one, we have matrix A having the elements as A, B, C, and D. And matrix B having the elements P, Q, R, and W. So we want to see how you multiply these two. We also want to see whether the product A times B will give us the same uh, result as uh, when we start with B. So that is for us to see. And we are also going to take uh, an actual example, not a general one, involving particular um, elements 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So let's see how we multiply. So AB means we take matrix, matrix A and we multiply by matrix B, which is P, Q, R, and w. Now the multiplication is not difficult. All you need to do is identify the first row and the elements in that row will be multiplied by the elements in the first column. And the first element multiplies the first element here. The second element multiplies the second element. In other words, um, we are going to have A multiplied by P, which will give us A, P. And then we are going to add to what we get when we multiply B by R. So, <coughs> so our first element in the product is going to be the sum of AP and BR. Now, if we'd like to get the, the, the other element here, then we need to take the same row and multiply by the second column. And therefore, we can do that so that we see now the difference. And again, we're going to multiply A by Q which gives us AQ. And then we are going to add to B multiplied by W. And therefore we have plus BW. So we are through with the elements um, <coughs> and the first row in the product. And now we need to, to get the, the element here and the element here. So how do we get the first law? 
in the second column. And that's, that means we'll have to go now to our second row. And the elements in the second row are C and D. And like we did in the other case, we will take CD and multiply by PR to get this one. And then the same C and D multiplied by uh, Q and W to get this element here. So let's do the first one. C times P, that will give us C P plus um, uh, that was C times P, and now we go D times R. That gives us D R. So when we add those two products, we will get the element at this point. And then, like I've uh, explained earlier, we are going to take C, D, and multiply by the elements in the second column. And what do we get? C multiplied by Q, that gives us C, Q, and then we, to that we add D times W. And there we have it, the product. We take the elements in the first row and we multiply by the elements in the corresponding elements in the first column. So it's row multiplied by column, whereby we go A multiplied by P plus B multiplied by R. Then for the other upper element, we get A times Q plus B times W. Right? That's this multiplied by that. We are through with the upper part, then we come down here and we take CD multiplied by PR, PLR, and that gives us CP plus DR, and then we take the same C and D multiplied by corresponding elements in the second column, and that becomes our, our product. We said we would like to see whether when we multiply matrices, that's A times B, whether we get uh, the same product as uh, when we multiply B times A. When we pre-multiply A by B or pre-multiply uh, pre B by A, what actually happens? So that's where we are now. We would like to get B A. And that would mean, this time now we start with P, Q, R, W, uh, and then A, B, C, D. And now that we know how to multiply, we can get this very quickly so that we have P times A that gives us AP A, A P plus, see the difference now, this becomes QC plus QC. And now we take the first row multiplied by the second column and that gives us P times B and that's B P plus. So P times B. That's B, P, plus uh, D times, uh, Q times D, which gives us D, Q. I think you already noticed that what we are getting is different, but let's finish up. So we have R, uh, W, but we multiply now by the elements in the first column, and that is here, times that, and then we get A, R, plus, as AR plus CW, CW, and then we get BR times DW, BR times R plus DW. Okay, so it is clear that when you interchange the matrices, the product becomes different. So in matrices, a times B is not equal to B times A. Therefore, we can conclude here, A, B will not be equal to B, A as far as we are talking about matrices. Now, we said we were going to look at um, an example involving particular numbers, and so we are saying, suppose we have one, uh, okay, one, two, three, and four, and let's say, say we multiply this by five, six, 
uh, 7 and 8. So what do we get? And uh, you see, it's not difficult. We take that, we take 1 and 2, and multiply by 5 and 7. And um, what do we get? 1 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 7. Uh, that's 1 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 7, and that gives us 19. Because it's 5 plus 14. And then again we take the first row multiplied by the second column and that gives us 1 multiplied by 6, that's 6, plus 2 multiplied by 8, that's 16, 6 plus 16, and that gives us 22. Then we come to the second row and again we, we multiply first of all by the first column and then by the second column. So we get 3 multiplied by 5, that gives us 15. And then we add to 4 multiplied by 7, that's 28, so that we get 43, right? That's 15 added to 28, so that we get 20, uh, 43. And then, like we did in the other case, we take the second row multiplied by the second column. That gives us 3 times 6, which is 18, uh, added to 4 times 8, which is 32. So 18 plus 32 because of... 15. So it's very important and re requires a lot of practice. Uh, we will stop here for now. We will be doing more examples. Remember to subscribe because if you do that, we will continue together. We will move on together and um, there will be something to learn as we continue in our discussion. So for today, I would wish to stop there, and uh, it's goodbye from me until we meet in the next lesson.